This is a short video on how to assemble a Quaif 9E gear kit into a Lotus Toyota bell housing. We've not gone into huge detail, but we hope you can use it as a guide. Okay, pinion shaft assembly first. Um, I've already pressed on the inner track of the bearing and we've used the original standard clip to retain it. That's a simple press fit. On the other side of the pinion gear, we have a small eighth ball. That's just to locate the first gear thrust washer to stop it spinning. There is a larger chamfer on the bore which should face down on the pinion shaft. Slide that on. locate on the ball. Okay, first gear on with the bearing. And then the inner hub, the slide slider hub. One end is relieved to miss the run out on the spline on the shaft. Then we have a first second slider with reverse. The reverse teeth face down to first gear. Second gear with the bearing. Dogs obviously facing the drive disc. And then the third gear on the pinion shaft. On one side we have a drive, a, a thrust face, which faces down on the back of the second. Basic colour. And fourth gear. That's right down the top. And that's all we need to do to the pinion shaft at the moment. Input shaft. We start with two half shell bearings. Just locate on the shaft, third gear, we already have first and second in reverse machined onto the shaft. So, first gear on is third. And then the spline in a hub. There's a slight raised boss on one end, which should face up, so facing fourth gear. Bring the slider. I can go either way. The inner track for fourth gear sits down on top of the spline hub. Bearing to fourth gear. Fourth gear slides on top. And that's all finished for the moment. Next to assemble is the cam drum onto the base plate, which we then bolt into the bell housing end of the gearbox. So to do this, there's just two bearings inside this cup. They just push into the cup. The cam drum or the selector drum slides down into the through the bearings and is retained with a washer and an 8mm cap with some Loctite and a Schnorr washer. 
and then three bolts, three six mil cap heads, bolt the shaft down onto the sole plate. Again, we've locked tight, and that's that assembled. Next would be the selector claw, which is just a shaft. The spring is pushed over the shaft first. Then this claw bracket slides on and is pinned with two sullock pins. Then the selector claw slides on over the top of the shaft with a spring and the bearing with its spring seat attached. Small retaining circlet is on the top there just to stop the bearing moving. That should move freely up and down as it would in the gearbox. Okay, this is the standard case, the bell housing end of the case. Um, the next job to do is to machine the case. It's critical this face is flat and the right distance from this datum. The sole plate of the cam drum is going to sit on there like that. So this needs to be machined away and shimmed with the shimming washer supplied in the kit. That just slides underneath that base plate and it's bolted down into place. This standard case, I've already replaced the bearings, they're not included in the kit, they're standard bearings, but I've put new ones in here. Next is the diff, um, fitting a quaff diff. Um, they take standard bearings um, and the crown will bolt straight on, as with the standard diff. Um, we do need to shim the diff, the input shaft and the pinion shaft, one on standard bearings, so they don't need to be shimmed and preloaded, but the diff does because it's running on tapered bearings. So shim the diff, fit the crown wheel, and we move on to the next stage. I fitted the diff, it's been shimmed so it's preloaded and ready to go. Put that into the case. Next is fitting the reverse arm, operating arm. That's a standard part and fits in the original place just under the base plate for the cam drum. And it's bolted down with the standard bolt. Next the two shafts. Best way is to mesh the two shafts, the pinion shaft and the input shaft. It's often easier to fit the first second fork as well. And lower all that into the box. Like that. Just engage first second fork with the drum as it drops in. Third fourth fork, slide into the drive disc and locate in the drum. I fitted new bearings, not supplied with the kit on the input and the output shaft. There's a clip that goes on, which comes with the kit on the input shaft. Reverse gear is part of the kit as well, standard pin. Okay, select all this.
the fifth selector rod and block are already bolted together. And just slide down over the, the second rod and connect with the cam drum. Top part of the case, I fitted a small seal in there and a shell bearing and I've loctited in the pin of the selector. There's two DU coated bushes in the kit. The shorter one goes in this main case and the longer one goes in the top cover, just in there for the selector rod. I've also fitted two new bearings on this kit, not supplied. Um, to the input and the output shaft. And we're ready for some silicon, glue the top on and fit lift gear. I've got a bead of silicon around the edge of the case. Now we're going to fit the case. Lift bearings are in, shims are in, and the DU brush is in for the selector rod. Just lower that over the top. Slide into place. Pull that down with a couple of bolts. individually and put the standard clip on the bearings and that lifts the shafts into place. Right, we've bolted our cover on. I fitted the standard bearing clamp plate with the five eight mm bolts and I bolted down the um, drum to the top of the drum here, the detent wheel with the two 5mm screws. And now we're going to fit the 5th and 6th gear. So there's a spacer washer goes on over the circlip. Slide the circlip down onto the pinion shaft. track down into fifth like that and then locate the drive disc and the fork together and slide down over the select rod at the same time as sliding it on over the drum. Fitted the spacer tube on here and the top gear goes on. On the input shaft here, there's another cupped spacer. This is a thrust washer for the gear and Another washer sits on top like that. Just need to fit new bearings and a clip on each shaft. I fitted two new bearings on, the, on both shafts here and we fitted clips as well which are supplied in the kit. And I've put two solid pins through the selector fork there to pin it to the rod. Now we just need to fit the selector mechanism, the claw. It just drops in and locates over the pin on the spring. I've just put together a chest lever just to make sure we have some movement. That's between 
fit in the seat. Seems to work through the gearbox. Now we just need to put an O-ring in and fit the cover. I've fitted an O-ring under the lid, put the lid on and I've just put a couple of bolts in to hold that down. Also fitted the reverse bolt. Um, so what we need to do now is test the gearbox and also we need to adjust the detent bolt so we get maximum spring tension without jamming the cam drum. Just test the gearbox with the, with the lever, make sure the dogs are aligned when you're changing gear, and that's it.